Hello, Pain Free for Life members, and welcome back to our 10 minute Monday microcurrent training. Today, I'm going to be talking about osteoporosis and what microcurrent can do to help treat it. So let's start with what osteoporosis is, because uh, a lot of the time when I talk to people, they, they go on about how they have osteo something, and it often ends up being osteoarthritis, which is, is quite a bit different than osteoporosis. So why would you want to treat osteoporosis? What is it? What does it do? O osteoporosis is a condition that causes bones to become weak and brittle. And they get to the point actually where they are so brittle that a fall or even mild stresses like bending over or coughing can cause a fracture. Now, osteoporosis related fractures most commonly occur in the hip, the wrist, or the spine. And again, the spine from bending over or reaching up. Um, you know, this is something that our body should be able to tolerate, but in cases of osteoporosis, it can't. Now, bone is a living tissue. Uh, so like all of our tissues, it's constantly being broken down and replaced. Osteoporosis occurs when the creation of new bone simply cannot keep up with the loss of the old bone. There are typically no real symptoms that people experience in the early stages of bone loss. But when your bones have been weakened by osteoporosis, you might end up with signs and symptoms, including things like back pain um, that is caused by a fractured or collapsed vertebrae, um, loss of height, so you might find you're getting shorter, a stooped posture, um, even a bone that just breaks far more easily than you would expect. These are all things that are quite common. So electric medicine, microcurrent included, for healing bone is not a new concept. It's something that has been being used for a long time. It's not even something that is alternative. It is mainstream. There are devices out there that are bone stimulators designed specifically to enhance the regrowth of bone. These are used in hospitals. Um, they're used by medical doctors. They are not by any extent anything alternative in that way. However, bone stimulators being their own class of electric medicine, um, working to kind of enhance the healing of bone, both in the cases of fractures and in, in those of osteoporosis, it, it's a little bit more of just a broad current. They're just using a current on there and they're not too bothered by frequencies. What they're trying to do is they're actually trying to stimulate stress on the bone to cause it to repair as if it was damaged. So they're trying to kind of enhance that um, by doing that. This is not what our devices do. Our devices work by helping the body to repair tissue, increase circulation, increase cell formation and maturity, and eventually this will lead to increased bone density. Now, although our devices are not classified as bone stimulators, and this came up in the creation of the pinnacle where we couldn't use the word bone because it would indicate that we are claiming that we are a bone stimulating device. Um, essentially, bone stimulators are their own class of, of medical device and being class two is not enough to, to, clar to count as a bone stimulator. So although they are not bone stimulators, we have worked for years with off-label treatments using these devices to enhance the repair of bones on a cellular level, including in cases of non-healing, um, I believe they're called non-union fractures that happen as a result of other conditions like diabetes that are slowing the healing process. Now, there are a multitude of ways to treat osteoporosis using microcurrent, scala, and PEMF technology. And to be completely and totally honest, if you're going to do this, I think a combination of all of these is optimum for therapeutic effect. So first off, as you may have guessed, if you have followed these videos before, would be the use of the scalar chi device, okay? So with the scalar chi, we can change the microcurrent into a scalar energy. And the way to do this is to set your device to 7 to 12 hertz and lock it in with the middle button. This is available in the evolution as the first mode as well. This is in the pinnacle, 7 to 12 hertz. Once you're in there, you want to increase the power to maximum or until the person or you can feel it. You do that by holding down the plus button. Now, what this is going to do is it's going to help reduce the energy in the area to a near zero. 
and it can initiate what we call zero point healing. This is enabling the tissue in the area to reset on a cellular level and balance out. So if there's an area that is more affected than another, focus on this area. If not, you will need to uh, scalar each of the joints of the bones for 30 seconds each. So let's say I know I have um, an issue with osteoporosis and, and my worst spot is right in my shoulder joint here, which is not a super common place for that. I would use the scaler. I would place the scaler at maximum power because I can't feel it right on the area. And I would probably leave this for about five minutes. If you are kind of dealing with osteoporosis full body and there's not one area worse than the other, you're going to want to go to each of these different joints using it, say, on the wrist, the elbow, the shoulder, the hip, the knee, you know, all those areas where you get a bend. That is a good area to treat. Now, you would want to do this for roughly 30 seconds a piece. You're not going to be able to optimally do five minutes on all those areas. It's going to be too much for the body. This is your pre-treatment. You've gotten in there. You've initiated zero-point healing. You've reduced the frequency level of the tissue down to a near zero, and you've given it a bit of a reset. Next, you're going to grab your microcurrent device, and you're going to be dosing and zeroing. And my reasoning for this is that you want to get the brain to acknowledge that there is a problem. And the optimum way to do this is dosing and zeroing. Now your choices are either going to be 77 Hertz, 60 Hertz. Um, so 77 Hertz in the Genesis, 60 Hertz in the evolution, relax, assess in the pro sport or assess 60 Hertz in the pinnacle. Um, aside from the Genesis 77 Hertz, all of them are running at 60 Hertz. This is the optimum body communication frequency. Uh, there just wasn't enough room to include it in the Genesis, but 77 Hertz can still dose in zero. Now for the Genesis and the evolution, you're holding it on the affected area, the area where the, the biggest problem is. And you're going to be doing this until you get a blue light coming on while you're holding it in place, followed by a green light. With the Pinnacle and the Pro Sport, you're going to get a little D followed by a Z. This is a dose and a zero. You want them in that order. Blue light is dose. Green light is Z. You need these to come in in this order. This is showing us that the signal has been sent into the body. The brain has acknowledged it and has sent the signal back. So we have acknowledged an issue there and we have initiated healing. Lastly, switching to PEMF can cover more of an area and work on a deeper level than most microcurrent can get, which is extremely beneficial for bones. I say most microcurrent because the Pinnacle's uh, Sanabio 7 can get as deep because of all the damping built into it. But otherwise, you're looking at kind of the PEMF, for example, with this pad here, the Chi Wave pad, um, I can cover my whole arm with it, and it's going to give me 12 inches of depth. So it's going to get to the areas I need it to get to. Um, so I can use this, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug this into my microcurrent device. I'm going to set the program, um, which is beneficial for bones which is going to be 7 to 12 hertz in the evolution, and the pinnacle is probably going to use Santa Bio 7. Um, in the Pro Sport 3, you're going to use FM 7-12A. Again, this is just a different name for the same mode. You're going to run the treatment on the area for 15 to 20 minutes. And again, if no area of the body is more effective than the other, then running a Chi Wave pad on the legs and on the arms is likely going to be your best option here, treating each area for 15 to 20 minutes but taking a one day break in between treatment. This way you can stimulate bone growth um, by using that seven Hertz frequency. And you've kind of created the optimum terrain, the optimum environment. You've got the body involved in the healing process and everything is kind of running the way it should. Then the PEMF is serving as the treatment that the body takes on and actually will work with. Um, PEMF, again, like it, it's a bit of a longer haul, but in areas where you're trying to cover things that are affecting the whole body, PEMF kind of wins out over microcurrent just because you're getting a bigger coverage in the area. But I think taking a one day break between treatment is important, uh, especially if you are using the Pinnacle and you're using Santa Bio 7. The program is very, very powerful and it may be too much if you were to do both arms, both legs, um, you know, 20 minutes each. Um, is going gonna, is gonna to be a lot in a single day. So split it up along the way. Now, there is a lot 
that needs to be done here, right? I've gone through a lot of different things. It's not a one-step, one-stop shop kind of situation. Uh, if you want to optimize the healing of osteoporosis, there's a lot to be done, especially when it's impacting so many areas of tissue. But it is really possible to enhance the body's natural capabilities of healing and to actually repair the bone tissue. To me, it's one of these protocols that requires diligence, and that diligence is often not for everyone. I mean, do you have the time to do this? But the payout is definitely worth it. Working on actually rebuilding the bone density and preventing things like osteoporosis causing potentially life-threatening fractures is well, well worth the time investment. So that is it for today's Monday 10-minute training. Thank you all for joining me. If you found this information helpful, if you want to see more, please put a like on the video, make a comment. Um, this helps the video stay in plain sight. The more engagement it gets, the higher up the page it is, which means more people see it. Uh, a lot of people can't be here live at 12, and they end up watching this in the evening, but it can often get buried with messages. So it's just really, really helpful to, to get it up there. Um, I otherwise hope to see you all next week for another Monday 10-minute training. Thanks again. Bye-bye.